Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, don't go through. <laughs> Just drop me, okay? And I died. That's a great start. <laughs> hey, Ty here. So welcome to the VRTech channel. So I don't usually make videos about games, but this one is very particular because we're talking about Vaheim, the Viking survival game that took the world by storm. Why are we talking about it? Well, because it just got a full mod to play it in VR. And spoiler alert, it's absolutely fantastic. I never jumped in this game before because I thought it was just a big fuzz, but yeah. I was wrong. So well, in this video, you're gonna see some gameplay in Valheim in VR, of course, how to install it, how to make it run better, and of course, what do I think about it, and if it's worth getting it. So well, it's time to jump right in. Let's get into it. A little plug for the video if you play Valheim, but you don't have VR, well, we're doing a giveaway for Nanoculus Quest 2 each month till the end of the year to celebrate 100K, so yeah, get part of it in the description below. All right, hey. That, that is my body, I guess. Hey, dude. Yeah, he's gone. All right. Hey, what's up? And I have ants. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. It is beautiful. By the way, the music is fantastic. How did I miss this game? All right, well, let's talk to him. I guess we use the trigger. I understand to travel blah, 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 for second. Okay. And you disappeared. The first prey, a mightly beast. I guess we have to go that direction, right? Over there. Gonna need something. Uh, we can't kill people without the proper equipment. This thing is running very well so far, and I'm kind of impressed. I think that is a bad guy, isn't it? Well, let's see if we can punch. Whoa, like that. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. That's a work. <laughs> Come here, dude. Woohoo! All right. If I remember correctly from uh, all the other games like this, we gotta gather stuff all right so we have food torch perfect Let's see what he's saying wooden stones oh where are you coming from you don't jump on me you come here come here don't run all right we just need some rocks Oh, that's a flower. Give me flowers. I have no clue how to run. But yeah, look at this. We have a body. We have our hands. <laughs> it's pretty cool indeed. And I guess I can start to make stuff. This looks fantastic, by the way. I'm still at the beginning. I'm, I'm super impressed. Some fruit. Can I grab it? All right. Trigger. Like this. Yum. That was good. Can we make a stone axe? All right, and here we have our menu, so uh, you just drop the little thing on it, and that's it. Things get in your hand. So now we have a nice axe, and uh, let's keep going, right? We have to keep a speed, like, like if we are in the game. So, like, you can't go super fast. Kind of odd, because, like, you see, it doesn't register the hit. You gotta do like uh, if the game was without VR, so one, two, and it's actually pretty cool because it makes it easier to kind of role play with it when it works. All right, <laughs> like whoa, whoa, oh that's falling on me! Wow. <laughs> All right, the guys, woodworking, it's a thing in VR. All right, again. Keep going. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's a lot of wood. Of course, the, the graphical style, it, it's very particular. And if you love this game, like being inside it, it's absolutely fantastic. That's a boar. That's one star. Is it too high for us? 
Let's see, shall we? Whoa. No, should be fine. Come here, dude. Come here. Whoa. Yeah, the hitbox is not the best. <laughs> Woohoo! Bye bye, little boar. This is fantastic. Look at this. <laughs> not that. <laughs> That's a deer. Runestone. Anti skin. Right, I guess I'm gonna have to offer a deer, but we don't have any way to hunt them without a bow, so. Wow, look at that. Yes, this is gorgeous. And it runs so well in VR, and this is just a mod from like two people. Two people. Two people. No, one, two. Oh, that's an house over there. Let's go. And by the way, you can also play a multiplayer. Apparently, it works better if you are both in VR. Because if you... All right. There's nothing here, though. Um, it works... Woo! Woo! It works better if you are both in VR. If you play regular multiplayer, you can. But people are going to see you a bit weird, apparently. Because... The body tracking is not gonna translate to other people if they don't have the same mod. So just be aware of it. But hey, if you have friends and you wanna play together, you ask them to install the mod and uh, you can all enjoy it together in the same way. And it's absolutely fantastic. That's a deer there. I'm here, dude. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Come on, don't run. I can't run. I can't run. Oh, finally out of the forest. Let's go there. Nothing here. Wow. Look at that. Alright, so with this one, we should be able to build stuff with the hammer. Look at that. Look how cool. And turn it around. Put it there. Building to make walls and a little fence. Whoa! What are you doing? Fence in front of you. <laughs> okay, the problem is that I can <laughs> I can deselect the thing. Alright. Let's use this one. Two. What happened? Alright. We got it. Come here. Come here. Come here, dude. Woohoo! I want a bow. Leather scraps. Huh. We need some boars. This is gorgeous. I, I probably said it 30 times, but the music is amazing. The vibe is amazing. It runs pretty well. And yeah, it's like, I don't know what to say. Uh, I hope like the recording shows it in the right way because it's just incredible. Because these guys, I can't kill them. Come on, come here. Don't go away. Come on. Let me run! Let me run! It's getting dark here. Here we go. Alright. I wanna... Go there. These guys are... I, 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 I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. And I'm dead. Oh, no. <laughs> now it's dark. I'm alone. I can't run. That sounds like the right idea. And of course, now I have a boar behind me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump. Oh shit, what was that? I need my stuff, I need my stuff. I need my stuff. Light, what's going on? Who is here? Oh, I have chills. All right. Whoa, 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 it's getting foggy here. Oh, so many deer. Black forest. Go up here. Come on, come up here. Huh? You scared. Whoa! 
Whoa! And I died. Well, I guess we didn't get to the mission of, uh, of getting a bow, but... Hey, this is fantastic. I, I can't wait to jump back in, because this looks absolutely incredible. Absolutely. Oh yeah, and this is broken. I can just do it with this. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. And here, guys, as you can see, it was absolutely fabulous and ran very well in VR. And the craziest thing is that this mod is made by two people, Brandon and Matty. So really congrats to them because what they did is absolutely amazing. But how to install it? Well, it's pretty easy and straightforward. I'm gonna leave in the description below also the link with the uh, tutorial and everything if you wanna read instead of watching the videos. But it's pretty much two major steps. The first one, I actually use Vortex. It's part of the Nexus mod. Of course, you can download it from there. Then you just have to add Valheim as a game. And it's gonna ask you automatically to install its own mod manager. Click accept, you install it, you deploy the mod, and then we have to go to the stem number two, that actually to download the mod itself. We download it, we unzip it, so right click and extract, and then everything we have inside, we just drop in the Valheim folder. Next step is to start SteamVR, and it's important to start SteamVR first. Double click on the game, don't select the Vulkan version, and well, you're in. Now, the first thing that is suggested you have to do is to go on settings and uh, disable some stuff like the anti-lazing that doesn't work very well. It's gonna create some glitches. I also disabled the depth of field because it really doesn't make much sense in VR. And uh, yeah, just copy what you see over there. Also to have better performance, it's better to bring the shadows on low because they have a big impact in performance and not much an impact uh, when it comes to graphics. So drop that and you're very much good to go. I tried with three different headsets, of course. I tried with the Oculus Quest 2 using Link and Virtual Desktop and works like a charm. I tried, of course, with the Valve Index. As you can see, I used that to record because it's easier to record with it. Everything looked more fluid. And I also tried with Windows Mixed Reality with the HP Reverb G2. That, as you might know, the controllers are very similar to the one that you have on your Oculus Quest. Yeah, it works very well with all of the biggest three platforms. Is it perfect though? Well, not really. I think the bending can take some work. Uh, when you use the hammer, for example, you're not able to get out. I had to use my keyboard to actually select two and get back to my ax so I could actually do stuff again. Uh, so just stay close to your keyboard for now. And uh, yeah, I couldn't find a way to run. Uh, they say to bring up the right thumbstick is not really ideal, uh, but yeah, I didn't know why I was playing. Also right now there's no support for room scale, so be sure to start the game in the position you're gonna play in, because if you move from there, well, everything's gonna be messed up. Uh, the direction of your uh, character is not gonna be the same of your actual body, and so it's gonna be a bit awkward. But it's something that they're already working on to actually fix in the future. But so far I really have a lot of faith in those two, and Brendan and Maddie, because they did an great job. Now, would I recommend to buy the game just for the VR version? Well, I did and uh, I absolutely enjoyed it. Uh, I'm already more than three hours playing it and uh, yeah, it's very good. It's completely enjoyable. I can't wait to jump in with some friends and actually do some multiplayer because you can do that also with other people. But as I said, they're gonna see you a little messed up uh, because not everybody, of course, is gonna have the VR mod if they don't play VR. But yeah, again, I think I said that 20 times. The graphics, the environment, the vibe is absolutely amazing. It's completely enjoyable. The hitboxes are not the best, but you get used to it and uh, it's just fun. And it's great to be in their worlds. So if you wanna check it out, well, do it because I'm really enjoying it. But anyway guys, again, if you have Valheim but you don't have a VR headset, remember we're doing a giveaway, actually more than one. It's gonna be one Oculus Quest 2 each month till the end of the year. What you have to do is just to be a subscriber, uh, click in the description below where there's the giveaway stuff, follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook is gonna give you more possibilities to win, of course. So if you follow all of them, even better. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just get a person each month till the end of the year to celebrate 100K. So that's pretty cool indeed. But so far as all guys, I don't make gaming videos much. So if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comment below. So in case we can 
uh, do some more. And what do you think about Valheim? Did you ever play it before? Or you were like me and like you thought it was just a big fuzz and something and it wasn't going anywhere? Let me know in the comment below. And as always, if you like the video, like. If you didn't like this, like. Subscribe to the channel for all VR tech. And if you really love the channel, there's a join button on there, little on the further, also the Patreon with prior access to videos. At the same time, we have a t-shirt, sticker, mask, 2021, item number one. And uh, that's all. Like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.